So a lot of the COVID-19 vaccinations are coming in a multi-dose vial. And there's a special technique that I like to tell people to do when either they're reconstituting the Pfizer vaccine, for example, or if they're drawing up the Moderna, is a special technique that allows you to sort of get all the air out of the bottle and not waste any of the vaccination. Now, this is not a uh, vaccination bottle, it's just a bottle of lidocaine, but I just wanna show you the process in which I use to draw up the medication. So again, these are just a little bit bigger uh, needles that I'm using here to show you because this is for demonstration purposes only. So essentially, once you pop the top of the vial, you clean it with an alcohol swab and you take out your syringe and your needle. And basically what you're going to do is when you go to reconstitute the medication and every manufacturer is different, you're gonna add that very slowly to the mixture in sort of like a, a sideways version like this. And so you're injecting typically saline into the mixture and then you have to account for the air that you also put in there. So after you inject to reconstitute the medication, you're gonna turn the bottle up like this and you'll notice that the plunger is gonna just go up when the air is being released. And then that way you can just take it off and you don't have to worry about any of the medication squirting out at you, which if anybody's ever drawn up a shot, a shot knows that that can happen. The other thing I like to do when I go to draw up the actual medication to give the shot, I turn the bottle on its side, of course, cleaning in between with the alcohol swabs because they roll around on the table and you certainly don't want to get any kind of contaminant into the bottle. I like to hold the needle like this. I like to hold it like, like I'm going to be actually given um, some pressure into the bottle so I'm very stable doing it. And I can really see what I'm doing and how, uh, how well I get to pull it out. Um, uh, depends on the angle of the bottle. So I'm gonna do a much easier job here pulling it out if I have it on an angle and I'm seeing the liquid there. So you'll notice that you get a lot of air sometimes. So if you do inject a little bit more air for the dose that you want to give, you'll be able to fill up the vial, excuse me, fill up the syringe a lot easier. So basically, let's say I'm giving the Moderna shot. Um, uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna pull back uh, 0.5 mLs. So I'm gonna put in 0.5 of air back into the bottle and then draw up the medication into the syringe. And as you can see, when you go to pull it up, I'm just gonna get a little closer here. You can see that there's still a little bit of air. So I like to pull a little more and then flick, 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 flick. Now, once I get the amount that I want, I'm gonna put the lid back on this needle so I don't hurt myself. I like to take actually a pen or if you have a good nail to flick it, you can use your nail, but a good couple of flicks. And once you start administering a lot of these vaccines over and over again, that is super uh, easy to do and it literally takes less than a second. So fill your syringe, make sure you have the right dose, flick, 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 and then you're ready to inject.